Engineer 775 back with another water project. Um, wanting to come up with a solution for a lot of folks that have contacted me concerning their shallow wells. And this is one of many options, but um, I am basically uh, designing a system that can be lowered into a 30 inch well, 36 inch well, the old style, you know, board wells or hand dug wells. And then this can be lowered down to um, the water. Well, at least within, I'm putting mine within five foot of the water. I'm going to have my suction line come in here. It's going to feed an inline filter. This is a 10 micron filter. Got a priming port here for the pump. Uh, have a temperature switch. If this thing starts to run dry, this will heat up, which will also shut the motor down. This is a Dankoff slow pump, solar slow pump. Pump about 2.2 2 gallons a minute and I'll be filling my uh, cistern with this and then my delivery line will come out here and my power line will run up. So just coming up with a hopefully going to put this in today and, um, and then controls. What I wanted to add to it this can be hooked to a battery bank 24 volt or it can be as I said solar direct. I don't know if these drawings will come out but this is basically my wiring diagram. It's uh, two solar panels wired together but I'm wiring them into this solar converter, otherwise known as a linear current booster. This prevents the motor from stalling out as soon as it would normally do if it was just battery driven. And, um, and or when the, it'll basically increase the pumping capacity of this pump by 40 to 50 percent, believe it or not. And so what I'm doing here is wiring it according to wiring diagram and protecting the motor with a 10 amp paper fuse here in line and then I robbed some breakers and stuff from my old solar panel um, solar pump and these terminal blocks are really neat you don't have to do this you can just get the simple bus bars to connect the wires and so what I'm doing now is making sure I wired this thing correctly corresponding to the voltage coming in the uh, solar panel negative will be on the right Positive will be, um, no you dummy, positive will be on the right and negative will be on the left. And then it will come and feed this terminal block and hook up the right wires, of course. And adding to that will be a float switch. This is my suction line here. And um, this is a mechanical float, float switch. And so this will be down the water. Hear that? Clunk, clunk. When, the, when it's up, It'll pump when it, if it runs down where it's hit the bottom of the water level, it'll shut the pump off. And then as the water recuperates, it comes up, shuts, turns the pump back on. And so I'll just do some, that's easy to adjust. And this will go on the bottom half of the filter right here. So I'll show it to you in the, in the well. It'll make more sense probably. But that's, uh, that's what I'm working on today. Okay, here's my contraption in the well. The Dankoff slow pump on your left, out to my line that fills um, the cistern, which is 130 feet above this point. And then the inlet is coming to a, a little plug there that I can reach and prime inline 10 micron filter. Float switch is floating when that, so the pump should turn on. And it just so happens that it is raining, and so, <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing in that it's going to be a test for the linear current booster. I don't think the pump will turn, but anyway, got an inch and a quarter suction line coming up to that. Now, got conduit, flexible conduit, float switch, and the solar panel all come into this disconnect box that I showed you before. The LCB, we'll see how good she works today because I don't have a lot of light. And uh, got an inline paper fuse, 10 amp, on the negative side of the motor. Positive side is going right here to the white. So double check the wires with the LCB. They're all on the right side. And then I have my float switch coming up top. This is my float switch wire coming up in top. I know this is probably not so exciting, but... Um, just offering solutions to those that have shallow wells. You don't need the LCB. You could go PV direct, which is this black and white wire. 
negative and positive from the 24 volt panel. I got to go through this fancy breaker that I because I had it, and then I take the power down. And so um, I think we're good to go. The breaker is off. You'll see green. You think green is go, but not here. It's zero. And then up is red, but I have it disconnected um, from that should be run because there's a ones on and zero off. So I'm going to leave it off and I have the disconnect out at the solar array. I'm going to have to go uh, put that in and then come back and this will be the moment of truth. I got everything sealed up nicely here. I'm just going to put a little silicone around this ground wire coming through that grommet. Keep the ants out and then uh, got a nice little dry weatherproof box here and uh, with a key. All right, we are hooked. Okay, folks, just want to give you some proof that, I don't know if you can hear a thunderstorm, it's cloudy, and uh, that pump's still turning off a 24 volt array that's 400 feet away. So it's not turning much, so it's pumping very little, but that's what the linear current booster does, folks. It uh, allows that motor to keep turning up to 40% more, and um, so it's about to stop because it's really about to get some rain here. But I just wanted to see if it would pump. Looks like it's oscillating a little bit, so I'm just curious what it does. Put a little uh, rain shield here over top of the controls on the motor, and but it's going to have a top on it. I just just in case somebody knocked it off or whatever, it still shed 99% of the water. That thing's still turning. Yeah, so far so good. See a motor turning, that's a good sign. You can hear it humming away. Water level is dropping. That means I'm pumping water to my tank. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It means I don't have, um, it's not pumping at maximum rate, but it's taking that low light and the linear current booster in there is converting that over to enough amperage to turn this motor. So I'm excited. I am excited. So I should get about five or six hours of this pump running at 2.2 gallons a minute. Uh, we'll just say two gallons a minute, 120. Should get me 600 gallons of spring water today. If I get 600 gallons of spring water today, I am going to do a jig. And uh, anyway, that would be a that'd be an ugly sight, but I would be happy. Um,